Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum Our today's topic is Accelerated Depreciation Methods What we are going to learn in this video Our learning points are We will see the definition of Accelerated Depreciation And what are the methods of Accelerated Depreciation Calculation We will see the examples and their calculations Also we will see the comparison of accelerated depreciation methods with straight line depreciation method. At the end, I will share with you the strategic point of views in terms of net present value, tax and profit and loss. What are the effects of accelerated depreciation method on our net present value, on our tax strategy and what are the effects on our profit and loss statement. So let's start discussing what is accelerated depreciation. As you can see, the name itself is defining that accelerated means the faster way to charge the depreciation of an asset. It is a faster way when you are going to calculate depreciation, it will calculate the higher value of the asset, like higher depreciation of an asset value. So, so when we are going to charge a higher value of the depreciation of an asset, so the greater reduction will come in early years. Also, this strategy for the accelerated depreciation used as a tax reduction strategy in the early years of the business. So let's move further and see what are the methods we are using in accelerated depreciation calculation. So here we will be having methods of accelerated depreciation. The first one is double declining balance method and the second one is sum of year digits method. So these two methods are calculating the depreciation faster than other methods. Now let's see how we can calculate our double declining balance method. An example has shown here asset value for a company when they buy an asset it's 200,000. The salvage value or the remaining value for an asset will be 20,000. Useful life 5 years and straight line depreciation rate is 20%. The formula for DDB is 2 multiplied by a depreciation rate by net book value or the cost of the value. Here we have calculated. So year one, our net book value, the cost of the asset was 200,000. So formula two multiply by 20%, the depreciation rate by 200,000. So the depreciation for the first year comes 80,000, which is very high. And the net book value after 200,000 minus 80,000 will be 120,000. So now we need to take this value 120,000 in second year when we need to charge the depreciation. So 2 multiply by 20% rate multiply by 120,000. So the depreciation comes 48,000 and the net book value remaining 72,000. At the end, at the fifth year, we will continue calculating as I told you here. So at the end of the years, you can see here the 25,920 in the fourth year our net book value. Now if we charge with the same formula to multiply by 20% of 25,920, so the depreciation value will be higher than our salvage value. So in the fifth year we need to charge just the depreciation less than or our salvage value. So the balance salvage value should be 20,000. So 25,920, so it means we need to charge only 5,920, so our net book value will come as 20,000. Now let's see the sum of year digits method. The example is same and the formula is different here. Here n divided by number of years divided by sum of years multiply by depreciation amount. What is N? N is the useful life of the asset for example 5 years. And sum of N is sum of years like for example 5 years 
means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we need to plus all of these years, it will become 15 total, the sum of years. So depreciable amount, what is depreciable amount? We need to charge the depreciation on like total cost minus salvage value. Let's see here, on the first year, our net book value is 200,000 minus salvage value 20,000. So depreciable value is 180,000. We need to charge our all years depreciation on this value 180,000. Our useful life is 5 years. So the first year depreciation we need to charge in a reverse method like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So these are the years. So sum of year digits will be 5, 4, 9, 3, 12 and plus 2 13 plus 1 is 15 total 15 sum of year digits now here depreciation rate how we have calculated here 5 divided by 15 will be the depreciation rate 0 0.33 33 percent and the depreciation amount we have calculated 180,000 multiplied by 0 0.33 so our net book value at the end of period is 140,000 100, uh, 200,000 minus 60,000 it means 140,000 is our net book value at the end of the period. So this is the way you can calculate sum of year digits uh, depreciation as you can see here the depreciation is higher in the early years and lower at the uh, last years. Now let's make the comparison of double declining method sum of year digits and straight line. Now here you can see in year 1 in our double declining balance method our depreciation was 80,000 in SYD 60,000 and straight line 36,000. So which one is higher? So double declining method is the best method of accelerated depreciation. As in second year 48,000, SYD also 48,000 and straight line is 36,000. So in second year these two methods are same and straight line is still lower. So here in the third year our double declining method will 28,800 and SYD 36,000 and straight line is also 36,000. So as long as you are going with this so the double declining method and SYD method are accelerated depreciation methods. So you can calculate or chart the depreciation in a faster way in early years and in the, uh, uh, pre in, the in other years like the ending years the depreciation will be lower. Now let's see the strategic point of view why we need to use accelerated depreciation methods. The first thing it affects the reported profit of the business. In the early years our profit will decrease and at the other years our profit will increase. It lowers the profit early years as I told you higher profits in the later years. It reduces the tax in early years when we are charging depreciation with the higher rate it reduces our profit and the tax on our profit will decrease. Total tax will not affect. Remember one thing the total tax for your all years it will not affect but you can save money now in your early years which you can invest in your business but in the later years you need to pay the exact tax that is that is not a problem it gives time value benefit like in the beginning years you are getting benefit of the money that you are not paying to the government as a tax so in the later years you are paying like higher value so in the beginning you can invest in your business you can stand up so this will help you out so it is always better to save early to make your net present value positive in early years. So this is the main factor that you can invest and you can focus on your business in early years and later years when your cash flows will be better then you can pay the taxes even you can report the profits as a higher. So this is the concept of accelerated depreciation guys I hope you understand it. Please subscribe our channel as it keeps motivated us to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.